Good evening everybody and this is Mentium and today I'm going to be giving you a review of a game I just came across today on Desera called Depth Hunter. The game is made by, uh, well, was developed and published by a company called Biot Company LLC. It's a very, very attractive game as you can see from the title screen here. I mean, title screens aren't known for being great. It's kind of got an arcade feel to it. It kind of reminds me of the good old Sega days with the uh, press any key to start and, and with the, uh, you know, darkened lines across. It feels good. Uh, this game came out very recently. It came out on February the 1st, so it's a new game to hit everything. You might not have heard it because it's not on Steam. It's on Desera, and you want to check that out because it's a great, great it looks, it's a great platform and there are a lot of good games on there which never make it to Steam or don't want to be on Steam. Uh, it's an indie project um, and from my brief conversations with Biot Company, uh, with Biot, um, they seem really nice. They want to be very close to their community. This game's got a lot of updates coming, um, one of which I'll tell you about in a second which is the most exciting to me. Um, and they want people to feed back. Uh, so for example, I know there are a couple of kids in the Aphelion community who desperately want to become marine biologists. This is the kind of game for you. This game, you should be all over. You should love this kind of thing. So you can get involved and there'll be uh, links in the description on how you can get in touch with these guys, where their forums are, how to give them feedback on how they want to develop the game in the future. It's got a huge amount of potential. It's a very attractive game and I'm really excited about it because there aren't many realistic simulations which I get excited about, but when I saw the screenshots for this somehow I felt it was a little bit different. So let's see how it plays. We don't know how it's going to play yet. I've already cranked all the graphics up a minute ago. Um, so there are a few things here. that The average rating for Biart Company's games seems to be about 5.7, which isn't the greatest rating. It's not bad, but it's not great either. But this game, for example, it has an average rating, I think it was about 7 or 8. Uh, but all of the recent comments, this is a very early, recently released game, so the ra average ratings aren't actually that great. It's more about response of the community you want to look for. And I've been looking at the comments of the people recently. And uh, the last 10 comments have all been 8s, uh, 9s, 10s in a few cases saying, oh, this is a great game, it's beautiful. All those people who are voting this down to get its ratings are just from competing companies. So that is very possible. Um, so I'm going to give it a go and hopefully you'll be able to tell whether this is the game, a game that you want to play. Um, it's not expensive, the company's really nice, so I think it's going to develop in a nice direction and they're close to their community. So let's see how this, let's see how this game is. So. Let's get, let's get started. I think I'm going to do the quest because then you can see a, a good, good bit of the gameplay and see how it plays out. Um, so yeah, let, let's go into it. What kind of ga the game it is, is there's basically there, it says there are 25 exciting missions so far, but they're going to add more. You get to do things like fighting predators and you get to look for treasure. Um, and you have to, basically you can take photos and you build an album. So let's just see how it goes. Okay, catch two fish of any kind. Bear in mind, I haven't had any tutorial. There doesn't seem to be a tutorial for this so far. But, um, okay, so W, A, S, and D seem to be the normal things. Oh, okay, it looks like I run out of air. Oh, look, okay, so 22 meters must be my depth. Okay, so if I... Okay, so I'm just going to swim up to the surface so that I can get some more air. Apparently, I am obscenely good at holding my breath. It's very attractive, you got to admit. And uh, what's ver what I do find particularly interesting... Oh, I think that's the time limit. It doesn't seem that is my breath. Uh, what I do find particularly interesting is there is a serious lag on the movement. It makes it feel like you're underwater. So if I move my mouse left, I'm moving it smoothly. That kind of uh, blurry feel you'll be able to see there is very much a uh, is very much something which is happening because of oh oh yeah and okay W to reel in. Okay, so I'm reeling it in. It's within 10 meters. What's that? Use that to pull or loosen the line. Okay, okay. So that top thing there seems to be a uh, Ah, so if it gets to red, I assume it probably means that... Okay, loosen the line. Okay, the red means at the top it'll be the line will snap. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to kind of... Oh, he escapes. There we go. Okay, so if it goes into the red for too long, the fish will escape and that's no good. Because... Oh, okay, I see it. It seems like things... Oh, there we go. There's a sucker. He's still. Let's get this one. I'm just enjoying how pretty this game is, to be quite honest. Pull him in. Pull him in. Pull faster. Okay, so now he's really close. Right? Okay, it says loosen the line. Oxygen low. Press R to ex exit the mini game. This is a mini game? I don't want... I want to catch it! I'm going to catch it first! No! 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 
Am I going to get it? I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, mission failed, apparently. Oh, look, I'm going to get the fish! Oh, it escaped. Okay. Apparently, this is quite hard. Maybe the game could probably benefit from some sort of tutorial. Uh, I wonder if there's a manual. There probably will be a manual which comes with the box and everything like that. Oh, this is in South Africa! I didn't even see that. That's great. I mean, I've surfed out here and stuff, which is great, because I'm going to see the sh that I know that there are sharks in this game. So at some point, I'm going to uh, probably have some issues with that. I wonder if I'm meant to tug on the fish in the water, perhaps. Oh! Missed. Oopsie. Okay, and there's a reload time of about a second, apparently. Let's get this one right between the eyes. Boom! Come here. Loosen the line, apparently. Use that to pull. And that to loosen. Okay, so I'm loosening. But he's, go but he's going away! Okay, so how do I catch these things? Do you have to get really close to them first? Okay. There's probably an art to getting... You have to get as close to fish as you can. And then you get them when you're, when you're nice and close. Okay, so let's get this one. Oh, he's moving away. All right, there you go. Okay, that's not the most accurate weapon, is it? It's actually very difficult to aim. Um, feels really nice. It feels like you're underwater, because you're not. It's not really uh, a game where you, you can't just spin and hit something, because there's a lot of over. It over. It continues to move the the mouse after you go past something, which is very interesting. It's an interesting sensation. Oh, that looks like a bigger fish. What's that? Oh look, you can boost. That's pretty cool. I guess that's if you want to run away from something. Oh whoa! Let's get him. Oh yeah, come on, come out, come on, come on. Am I gonna get this guy? This guy's huge. Come out! Oh yeah, win! I got a brown grouper. Cool. I can learn fish name names as well while I'm doing this. Okay, let's get one of these small guys. Come here. Oh, did I get any of them? Apparently, these guys might be too small to catch. Yeah, I don't think I can catch these guys. But these guys, yeah, I can catch you. Okay, I'm really bad at shooting. Apparently this is quite difficult. I've, I know in real life this is extremely difficult and requires great skill. Um, but uh, this is really nice. Okay, that's the camera. Okay, so if I go to the surface now. Swim! Swim! Come on, swim. Swim, we've got to get to the surface. Hey, look, those are birds. Wow, that looks great, doesn't it? Am I going to get there? Yeah, four meters below the surface. Come on, come on. Oh! Oh, wow. Am I wearing, like, goggles? Oh, I must be wearing goggles. So there's the boat. So you can go above the ground. It doesn't look amazing above water, but that's not what this game's about, so it really doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me at all. Because that looks... This looks great. <gasps> you reckon I can catch a stingray? Let's be really ambitious and catch a stingray. This probably has a really proper fancy name. Don't shoot. Oh, okay. Okay, so you don't shoot those. Maybe they're endangered or something. Oh, wow, maybe this game will allow us to learn about endangered species and stuff. That's really nice as well. That's really cool. I like that idea. Let's see now. That looks like a big fish. Gotcha. Come here. Oh, come here. Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to work out, like, how do you... Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Oh, I see, you have to kind of like... Ah, oh, there we go, a mutton snapper! Brilliant, so I succeeded. That was the objective of this level, and you mustn't... I found out I mustn't be shooting the stingrays. Um, the graphics in this game are great. I love this feeling. I love what happened... Oh, I need to catch those types of fish now? Okay. Alright, okay, 100... There's... Are these these ones? Oh, wow, this is really fun. You have to, like, identify them. No, those ones don't have the right kind of tail. Oh, uh, maybe it's these. Is it these ones? No, they have rounded tails. Is those ones? Are they the same? Yeah, they are the same. This is very, um... This is surprisingly enjoyable, and, like, you know, you can really get into this kind of whole feeling, oh, it looks like that's one of them. That looks like it. That looks like the right kind. Yeah, that's it. That's the fish I need. Come here. Ah, uh, no you don't. You're escaping from me. Yeah, <laughs> Pot shot. Missed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one knows I'm coming for it now. Oh, is it going to come back if I face the other way? Gotcha. Come here, come here, come on. I know that you're the right one. Okay, it keeps getting away, apparently. Use that, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Interest. You can kind of, like, tar them out by, like, letting them go and then putting them back in again. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this guy because I'm going to run out of oxygen. How do I let him go? Can I let them go? 
Yeah, okay, so I failed that because I drowned and died. All in all, I think this game looks is is really really good fun. I'm definitely going to continue playing it. Uh, I'm going to cut the uh, this kind of quick play to show you what this game's kind of about and that kind of thing. Um, here, I am going to continue playing this game for a little bit. I'm definitely going to do a few more levels um, and all of that kind of thing. So uh, to try and get, I want to meet some predators. I want to see what more the game has to offer. And I tell you what, they say there's a feature to play this game with multiplayer coming, and that. I tell you what, would be so cool. Imagine exploring massive undersea, like, coves and looking at rare types of fish, and it's like a marine biologist's dream. I guess doing it for real is the only step above it, really. So, anyway, this game is called Depth Hunter. Uh, it works on Windows. Um, they are planning, I think, eventually on bringing it over to Linux, but it will come to Mac before Linux, if it hasn't already. Uh, apologies for that noise there. That was very, very rude of my computer. Um, the developer's Biot Company, LLC, or Biot, and it's on the Buy Engine. Um, you can check them out. I'll put all the information about their company and all that kind of stuff in the description, and also the game's description and what they plan to do with it. As I've said, they are very, they want to be very close to their community, and that's something, for example, a lot of people, when we've been watching, playing Minecraft and things like that, you may not like Minecraft, but i tell you something, the community in Minecraft is very special. So, I really hope that... Uh, if you're into these kind of games, or you want to give a realistic sim a chance, I highly recommend this game. It's very attractive. From what I've seen so far, I would have bought it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mentium. If you enjoy me doing game reviews, put a like in the, in the in this, uh, description. Or maybe you want me to do a playthrough of a game which is coming out in the future, or has come out and you want to see what it's like. Please let me know, and uh, I'll do it. So, good night.